I, hello, I am starting just a few minutes early tonight because I'm doing Facebook Live instead of a recorded video. Um, but we are going to have story time and we are going to read Thank You, Sarah. So our theme this month has been um, Thanksgiving stories. So we are going to continue with some Thanksgiving stories. Now, why will we be saying thank you to Sarah? Right here. The woman who saved Thanksgiving. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Why would Thanksgiving need saving? So. You think you know everything about Thanksgiving, don't you? How the Native Americans saved the pilgrims from starving. How the pilgrims held a big feast to celebrate and say thank you. Turkey, pumpkin pie, cranberries, the works. Well, listen up. I have a new newsflash. We almost lost Thanksgiving. See, it says Thanksgiving canceled. No football today. Didn't know that, did you? It's true. Way, way back when skirts were long and hats were tall, Thanksgiving was fading away. Sure, the folks up in New England celebrated it. They'd roast a turkey and invite the relatives when the harvest came in, but not in the South, not in the West, not even in the Middle Atlantic states. And more and more people ignored the holidays. Thanksgiving was in trouble. It needed a superhero. I'm not sure we needed a superhero of that kind though. No, not that kind. Thanksgiving needed a real superhero. Someone bold and brave and stubborn and smart. Thanksgiving needed Sarah Hale. So here's Sarah Hale. Now I know what you're thinking. She doesn't look like a superhero. She looks like a dainty little lady. Never underestimate dainty little ladies. Sarah Hale was every inch a superhero. Not only did she fight for Thanksgiving, she fought for playgrounds for kids, schools for girls, and historical monuments for everyone. She argued against spanking, pie for breakfast, dull stories, corsets and bloomers and bustles, and various serious things, like slavery. As if that weren't enough, she raised five children, wrote poetry, children's books, novels, biographies, was the first female magazine editor in America, published great American authors like Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and Edgar Allan Poe, and composed Mary Had a Little Lamb. How did she do all of those things? We all know Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> she was bold, brave, stubborn, and smart. And Sarah Hale had a secret weapon. I wonder what her secret weapon will be. A pen. Mm. When Sarah saw something she didn't like, she picked up her pen and wrote about it. She wrote letters, she wrote articles, she wrote and wrote and wrote until she persuaded people to make the world a better place. Nothing stopped Sarah. You can see all of her writings around her. Sarah Hale loved Thanksgiving. She wanted the whole country to celebrate it on the same day. When folks started to ignore Thanksgiving, well, that just curdled her gravy. She picked up her pen. Sarah wrote letters, thousands of letters, asking politicians to make Thanksgiving a national holiday. She wrote magazine articles asking her readers for help. They're showing a large bag of posts. The women of America listened. They put down their babies, their skillets, and their washing. They picked up their pens and wrote. When the letters arrived, the politicians listened too. One by one, the states officially made Thanksgiving a holiday. But that wasn't good enough. Sarah Hale wanted the whole country to celebrate together, like a family. 
She went to the top. Now, it's got a face on it, but where is the top in this country? Is it the White House? You'd be right. Sarah wrote to the president himself, Zachary Taylor. He refused. Did that stop Sarah? No. She waited for the next election. Wrote to the new president, Millard Fillmore. He said no too. Did that stop Sarah? No. She was bold, brave, stubborn, and smart. Sarah wrote to the next president, Franklin Pierce. Wouldn't a national day of Thanksgiving be wonderful? No, Pierce grumped. Jeez. Three presidents told her no. I guess she's just really stubborn. I would say persistent even, because she's not giving up. Sarah penned an elegant letter to President James Buchanan. She gave all of the reasons why America would be better off if everyone gathered on the fourth Thursday in November to give thanks. President Buchanan disagreed. He had other things on his mind. The fourth president to say no. What's on his mind? It says pro-slavery, secession, states' rights, union, no slavery, and abolition. So what do you think is about to happen? Sarah felt like the stuffing had been kicked out of her. Everything was going wrong. America was at war. The North against the South. States that had promised to celebrate Thanksgiving changed their mind. The country was falling apart. It was a bleak and scary time. So if you want to look at the graphic, it was the North against the South, which means that this was part of the Civil War. So, the president during the Civil War was... Hmm. Did that stop Sarah? No way. Nothing stops Sarah. Superheroes work the hardest when things get tough. She picked up her mighty pen and wrote another letter, this time to President Abraham Lincoln. America needed Thanksgiving now more than ever. A holiday wouldn't stop the war, but it could help to bring the country together. She signed the letter, folded it, and slid it in an envelope. She wrote Mr. Lincoln's name and address on the envelope and stuck a stamp stuck on a stamp. She mailed the letter. She waited. And she waited. And then Lincoln said yes. Lincoln said yes. In 1863, President Lincoln made Thanksgiving a national holiday, a day for all Americans to give thanks together. It took Sarah Hale 38 years, thousands of letters, and countless bottles of ink. But she did it. Nothing stopped Sarah. That bold, brave, stubborn, and smart lady saved Thanksgiving for all of us. You can see the banner says, the nation gives thanks. Thank you, Sarah. So some of the things from our more modern Thanksgiving celebrations, we watch football or the Macy's Day Parade, or we have a feast with friends and family. All sorts of fun things. Alrighty. So that is our story for today. If you all would like to come and get this book at some point, I'm not sure when, but it has all sorts of facts in the back about your Thanksgiving Day feasts. So, very cool. And a quote, the pen is mightier than the sword. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story about how Sarah Hale saved Thanksgiving. Um, I will hope to see you guys back either for Toddler Tales on Tuesday or for Storytime on Wednesday. Until then, goodbye!